have a little boy's screen on his monitor. Yeah. Um, a recently lost one that's close to me, and um, he stares at the spot. Yeah. Oh. And what do you see? Do you see the orbs? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're all around. They'll be all around. Okay, I'm going to start up again now. It's a great one. Okay. Uh, okay. The spirits will be around children a lot. They do look after the little ones. That's what they do. Um, babies especially. Does the baby look around and talk and chatter when there's nobody to chatter to? Yeah. Okay, so they come and look after the little babies and come and give love because they're attached to them. And babies don't have any filter. Children up into the age of about three or four. And then they start to realise what they're seeing isn't quite right. And then the filters of life come up and they block them out. But prior to that, children see so much. Um, so you want to be seeing the loved one and they'll be around you. And they'll find it easier to go to the baby because when you've lost someone and you're grief stricken, unfortunately you put yourself in this little bubble. It's like um, a grief bubble and it's horrendous. And whilst you desperately want a reading from someone or a message from someone, the energy fields are blocked because you're so grief stricken, so you can't get through. So the spirits will be visiting your little one and they'll show you that they're there by the orbs. Um, oh, are you okay? Yeah. Hang on, let me stand up for a minute. I need a stronger connection for you. Okay. Okay, so he's telling you to roll your shoulders back, stand up tall and man up and you can do this. Okay, do you understand that? You can do this. And they will be around to look after your little one and they'll still see that little one grow up because that bothers you, doesn't it? They'll miss out. They'll see that little one grow up so don't worry about it. Pop a little picture of him in the room. You've got the small one, the little one, little picture. Put it on the shelf on the, as you walk in, on the left side wall. Do you know what I mean? So you can see it there. Okay, so put it up high so you can see it. Anyway, grab it. Okay, so put it up there and you'll be able to watch over. Okay, do you understand? Yeah. You all right? You gonna man up? <laughs> yeah. Um, he loves you dearly. Loves you dearly. Um, oh, okay. You you could be great. Do you know that? You could be great, but you haven't you haven't found your your area of expertise yet, have you? You're still quite young. It's gonna be about three years. In three years' time, you're gonna realise how good you are. Okay. Where am I going? I'm going to the lady at the back next to the photographer with the short dark hair. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, there you are, you. Um, I used to have a hair like you. <laughs> Very nice style. Right. Oh, you're lovely. Oh, isn't she lovely? Is she your friend? I can see why. She's got a lovely aura about her. You've got um, a white aura around you, so you're what I call an earth angel. They're very few and far between. Okay, I need to see you closer. You cried already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're lovely. <laughs> Don't stuff it, we'll all have crow's feet, we'll all need Botox. Right, okay, let's have a look at you. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> you are. Keep being you, for starters. Sometimes you question whether you are you are supposed to do certain things or whether you've done the right thing. And, oh my God, you of all people should not question yourself. You are beautiful, really beautiful inside and out. And they're very lucky to have you as a friend. Okay, you're very, very loved. And the vulnerability that you're feeling is because everybody comes to you with their issues and with their problems. So at the end, I'm putting a protection of bubble around everyone. And I want you to practice this at home because once you do that and put that protection around you, it'll make you feel comforted, safe, and it'll switch you off from everyone's emotions around you. Okay, I know you've been through it, I know. And I'm not going to say it live because it's personal, okay? But I know you've been through it. Oh, God, I want to start. Hang on. Stop crying. Okay. My full side lashes will fall off, then we will be crying. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I know you've been through it. I, do, I can see it, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say it here. But out of bad storms and rain, what comes next? Anyone know? Rainbow. Rainbows. Rainbows. So you've got the rainbows coming to you now. Okay, so you've got healing capabilities as well. Did you know you've got healing capabilities? Yeah. Have you practiced it? No, you should. You're really strong. You could be a really good Reiki master. So practice the healing and maybe look into spiritual spirituality a little bit more because I think you would be a really, really good healer. Very good. But you're very loved and you, you are blessed from a higher source. But good things are coming to you. Good things. You're very, very blessed. Very blessed. And you're, um, there's an old, older lady in spirit 
She makes me feel like a nan. She's very much, you're the, you just like her. You, you just like her. It's like a mini version. Oh, you okay? Yeah, for sure. Can we all just give her a little clap to give us some love? Oh, I need extra long arms. I'm coming down to give you a hug in a minute. Okay, so this lady wants to give you lots and lots of love because she, uh, I'd like to say it's going to get easier, but there's such a strong connection with you both. I don't think it will, if I'm being honest. It's probably not the right thing to say, but all I can say to you is don't focus on the sad parts. Think about all the things that make you smile. I miss my grandparents so much, but I just think about all the good things and we laugh about it, don't we, family? We all laugh about all the nutty things they used to do. We went on holiday to Mexico. My dad was doing the Irish accent the whole time from an hour. We were all fun about laughing. So try and put some more of that into your memories to try and put the happiness to it. I know it's painful and I know it's sad and you feel it, but that will get easier if you just try and look at the happier memories. But that bomb's never going to go and she'll always stay, stay around you and be there for you. Okay, so she's looking after you and guiding you. Just be strong. I know, I know it's hard. Oh, can I come and give you a hug? Yeah, can I? I'm coming down. Sorry, everyone.